breaking news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. One state just stabbed Trump in the back, and 500,000 illegal leeches are cheering. The governor of Illinois has a problem. He has two states to govern. And he has company, because there are other governors who have more than one state to govern. Of course, this is not a claim that each of these governors have more than one state-level jurisdiction for which they have executive responsibilities and powers. It's just that their states are so profoundly divided along political and ideological lines, that it becomes very difficult to make any decision that is not going to infuriate half your citizens. What a miserable job! California is in a similar situation to Illinois, only perhaps an even worse one. The vast rural areas of that state are often very conservative, and are frustrated with the liberals who elect leftists like Governor Moonbeam Brown and the state's two liberal U.S. senators. So it's worth examining the fact that Illinois Republican Governor Bruce Rauner signed legislation to shield about 500,000 illegal aliens from deportation by federal immigration authorities. authorities. Look which rhino just signed Illinois sanctuary state law into action. Rhinos have been destroying this country from within ever since Donald Trump was put into office, but one in particular has just royally decimated the state of Illinois by signing into law a sanctuary state bill. The bill, which has received massive resistance from conservatives and Republican lawmakers alike, would effectively make it illegal for law enforcement to arrest illegal immigrants. Yes. You hear that right, in Illinois, it will soon be illegal to arrest illegal immigrants. According to Briet Bart, the sanctuary state bill will make it illegal for law enforcement officials to arrest or detain illegal aliens solely based on their immigration status. In other words, it's now legal to be an illegal immigrant if you live in Illinois. Illinois Republican Governor Bruce Rauner signed legislation shielding the nearly 500,000 illegal aliens from federal immigration law. Rauner signed the sanctuary state bill into law on Monday, making it illegal for law enforcement to arrest or detain illegal aliens solely based on their immigration status, the Chicago Tribune noted. The new law will essentially make it impossible for Illinois police to notify Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE when they have a suspected criminal illegal alien on their hands, thus increasing the possibility that they will be freed back into the general public. The sanctuary state law also makes it illegal for local law enforcement to arrest an illegal alien, even if the individual is wanted by ICE for immigration violations. This ridiculous and overtly Marxist law marks a new era for the people of Illinois. According to Pew Research, there's already over 450,000 illegal immigrants inside of the state, with over 70 percent being from Mexico, this may be the end of Illinois as we know it. The rhino who signed it into law, Governor Bruce Rauner, has a long history of supporting anti-American causes. He's previously been an outspoken advocate for gun control, infringing on our Second Amendment rights, and promoting Planned Parenthood. Briet Bard previously reported that in 2016, the rhino is a $50,000 sponsor of Planned Parenthood, which would explain his leaning towards the fetus murdering company. Leno's governor Bruce Rauner and his wife Diana are listed as $50,000 sponsors of Planned Parenthood of Illinois for an upcoming fundraiser in Chicago. The Republican governor and his wife are listed as Greatest Generation sponsors for the April 26 event that celebrates the centennial anniversary of the abortion chain. We are really thrilled to have the support of Diana and Bruce Rauner, Katie Theide, Vice President of Development at Planned Parenthood of Illinois, said, according to Bez. I know that they are excited about sponsoring the event this year. He's also largely responsible for the ridiculous death rate in Chicago, because apparently liberals and rhinos don't realize that gun control never works. On August 23, Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner, R., signed a gun control bill aimed at reducing the record gun violence currently witnessed in the city of Chicago. The new law targets anyone without a firearm owner's identification FOID card who buy guns in states other than Illinois with the intent of bringing them into Illinois, particularly into Chicago, 
to sell to other individuals on the streets. Doing so is now a felony that carries a prison sentence of 4 to 20 years. The sentence for repeat offenders is 30 years. This man has made it clear who he stands with. He does not stand with the hard-working, conservative folk of America who built this country from the ground up. He does not stand with the patriots who shed blood and sacrificed their lives to preserve our freedoms. No, he stands with the mentally unstable liberals and their communist agenda, and he's made this very clear. So, men and women of America, remember his name loud and clear. Remember the name Bruce Rauner, because on November 6, 2018, it will be time to kick him the hell out of office. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments. Clearly, he is not even close to being on the same page as President Trump or several other Republican governors. So, what's his problem? From Briet Bart. Illinois Republican Governor Bruce Rauner signed legislation shielding the nearly 500,000 illegal aliens from federal immigration law. Rauner signed the sanctuary state bill into law on Monday, making it illegal for law enforcement to arrest or detain illegal aliens solely based on their immigration status, the Chicago Tribune noted. The new law will essentially make it impossible for Illinois police to notify Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, when they have a suspected criminal illegal alien on their hands, thus increasing the possibility that they will be freed back into the general public. The sanctuary state law also makes it illegal for local law enforcement to arrest an illegal alien, even if the individual is wanted by ICE for immigration violations. This is a disgraceful act by this governor. And if he's afraid of liberals voting him out of office if he vetoed this appalling legislation, he's just postponing the inevitable. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.